Well, hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Rebecca Gregory, the Education and Technical Director, and today I'm joined with Tracy Olson, my Technical Department Manager, to share with you a few methods for rebuilding and reconstructing hair fabric using the Organic Way Rebuilding Series. So this will be a great opportunity for anyone looking to add some new services and actually restructure hair um, from weak, damaged, or brittle hair all the way down. So this is a great opportunity to earn some more money and offer some amazing professional opportunities for your clients. So there are many different ways that hair becomes damaged, such as through chemical and mechanical stresses and environmental aggressions as well. So, for example, clients that come to you after either using home box hair color and have had experiences with ammonia-based color lines often come into our salons with chemical damage. This is where you often will see porosity issues and hear of complaints with fade because of the loss of protein, etc. These issues would directly relate to chemical treatment damage. We also have clients that overuse their hot tools without using the recommended thermal stress protection. We all have those or even have the temperature too high for their hair type on their flat irons. These issues often cause mechanical stress to the hair fabric. Clients also cause stress to their locks with aggressive stretching of the hair by using poor quality brushes. The overstretching of the hair with excessive heat can also cause cuticle damage and splint, split ends too. So it's necessary for us as true professionals to really offer solutions to repairing their weak, damaged, or brittle hair. When hair is dull, rough, poor structures, it's also, um, you'll see the fade and the lack of elasticity there. So at this level of damage, it's not enough to just treat the surface of that hair with take-home products. It must be combined with your professional treatment options that will restore the actual substance or inner parts of the hair com composition. OA Rebuilding System is one system with many benefits. It can provide increased shine, elasticity, hydration, remineralization, improved body structure, cuticle repair, strength and energy, and resistance to breakage. Products that make up the Rebuilding Series are, for Insulon use, would be the Rebuilding Serum, Ceramides F, and high yellow minerals. The take home products would be the Rebuilding Hair Bath, Rebuilding Hair Mask. Of course, true to OA style, these products are made up of 18 biomimetic amino acids, high yellow mineral complexes, which are made up of trace minerals and hyaluronic acid, the Ceramides F, which are made up of ceramides and vitamin F forte, zero mile biodynamic active principles, organic extracts, phyto derived ingredients, conditioners and emollients of natural origin, active ingredients from fair trade marketplaces, and of course these products are without SLS, SLES, parabens, synthetic fragrances, artificial colorants, PEG, PPG, PG, GMOs, petroleum, phthalates, and EDTA. So we typically discuss hair being made of protein and moisture. However, there are many other elements important to the composition of the hair fabric, such as ugly oligo elements or minerals, lipids, pigment, and also carbohydrates. So let's take a closer look at which OA products <clears throat> will offer benefits to reduce the rebuild these specific components of the hair. So protein, we are all very well um, aware, keeps the strength and it's made of keratin, 18 types of amino acids as well. So within the protein portion of the Rebuilding Series, we use the Rebuilding Serum, the Rebuilding Hair Bath, as well as the Rebuilding Hair Mask. Then we're looking at the minerals or oligo elements. That's the iron, zinc, copper, magnesium, and so forth. 
These can be regenerated through using the hyaluron minerals added to the serum. Next, we're talking about water or moisture. So hair that needs um, to reserve and absorb from, it's also helping with the porosity. When we need more moisture, um, you have a porosity issue. And you can absolutely regenerate this issue um, or the moisture in the hair by using the hyaluron minerals, the rebuilding hair bath, and the rebuilding hair mask system. Now lipid, um, these are from the free fatty acids. You can regenerate the lipids through the Ceramides F, the Rebuilding Hair Bath, and the Rebuilding Hair Mask. So once again, this is going to help with the composition of what our hair is already composed of and what we are lacking. So these are some of the components to the Rebuilding OA Method. As the specialist in hair repair, OA uses unique natural and organic ingredients in the system. Phytokeratin, Hyaluron Minerals, Ceramides F, Produ 500, Oligosaccharides, and Amazonian Blend are some of the key players that we'll be, we'll be discussing in more detail as we go. We also have the Biodynamic Iris, which is a flower rich in phytoestrogens with toning, reinvigorating properties for lifeless, dull hair, and the presence of rhizomes promotes cell renewal and regeneration. The biodynamic lavender regenerates and rebalances the scalp, hair, and the body in general. It performs a refreshing, toning, and soothing action on the scalp, the hair, and its aromatherapeutic fragrance induces relaxation and tranquility. The organic basil gives nutrition, moisture, and radiance to hair, fiber, it carries out a toning and strengthening action on weak hair. And the extract of basil is restorative, refreshing, and promotes physical and mental relaxation. And then we have the ethical teak and mahogany. Teak extract is often used in Ayurvedic medicine to strengthen hair structure and is also used for its antibacterial properties. Very cool. Well, the hair fiber repair process, uh, we've kind of put it into a few key steps here. Uh, so in the hair fiber process, you're going to first want to professionally diagnose the hair stress on the client that you're working with. One way that many of us have used in the past would be the simple wet stretch test that shows you whether the hair is lacking more in protein, moisture, or a bit of both. How, however, there are other characteristics, like we mentioned, of the hair fiber composition that you can visually assess, such as the lack of shine, whether they have split ends or raised areas of the cuticle that look and feel like almost like small beads. So by addressing all of the components that the hair may be lacking, you can truly offer the proper repair treatment in your salon. Truly balanced hair needs to consider all of the composition of the hair. So that's what OA has put together. If hair is losing substance and color quickly, appearing dull, there may be an issue with split ends and a treatment necessary to restore a healthy structure and really compact that cuticle layer. The rebuilding treatment regenerates the hair fiber deeply due to the use of vegetable proteins and customizing the amount of water, lipids, and minerals according to their true needs. So. The next portion to this is determining what rebuilding path you will want to use for your client and begin the custom blend and use the infrared iron that we're going to introduce you to soon. After the treatment, you will want to proceed in the special cleansing and conditioning while educating your client on what you're using as you go. And then closing with the recommendation of the proper products they'll need to take home to continue the maintenance of the treatment themselves. So each time you do this, it's going to um, rebuild the hair more and more, and you're going to see the changes occur over time as well. But this is a pretty fast-acting, intensive treatment, um, any one of these that you're going to be working with today. So as Rebecca had said in the first step, we want to do the professional diagnosis of the hair and develop a customized treatment for your client. Once the hair has been diagnosed, it is necessary to consult the OA Rebuilding Treatment Quick Start Guide, which is downloadable from this webinar, to formulate a custom blend for your client. You can see on this slide, this is just kind of a sample of what 
how it looks and what it is that you're looking for to print out. We'll be looking more closely at the blending combinations in a bit. First, we're going to look at the blending components. So we have the rebuilding serum. It's a protein fluid base for the hair reconstruction. It repairs the keratin chains inside the hair fiber. It supplies amino acids to the cuticle and the cortex of the hair, resulting in healthier and stronger hair. Essentially, like the rebuilding serum is the catalyst that the high low minerals in the ceramides F are mixed into. The rebuilding serum, its featured uh, ingredient would be the phytokeratin that we spoke about briefly earlier. It has the complex of 18 biomimetic amino acids. They are low in molecular weight. They duplicate the reproduction of the hair keratin structure and intracellular cement. It refills and recompacts the keratin chains and creates a cohesive structure to the hair. The serum also provides moisture, body, and shine. Increases in amino acids in the hair allow for the penetration deep into the keratin chains of the hair for excellent absorption and a healthier appearance to the hair. Next, we have the intensive treatment of the hyalo minerals. They contain repairing and moisturizing concentrates. It's a concentrate of five mineral salts, iron, magnesium, zinc, copper, and silicone. These are the trace minerals. It supplies amino acids to the cuticle and the cortex of the hair as well. The hyaluronic acid helps the hair capture and preserve water, resulting in a softer, more hydrated hair texture. A more scientific look at the hyalo minerals would be that the hyaluronic, that's a tongue twister, acid acts with the cationic technology by knocking down the negative electrostatic charge in the hair. The hyaluronic acid is formulated with a low pH. The molecules create a positive charge on the surface of the hair that eliminates the electrostatic charge, which closes the cuticle and leaves the hair silky and velvety. When the hyaluronic acid binds to the hair, it allows the hair to store large amounts of water, which is retained due to the closing down of the cuticle. Trace minerals restore the correct activity of the germinal cells of the hair matrix by strengthening and reinvigorating the hair. They also help the 18 rebuilding zero amino acids penetrate deeper into the hair. So ideally, because of the low um, molecular weight, these are able to slip into the under the cuticle and into the cortex where they're allowed they're absorbed. And also when you have a ceramide concentration that is so high like that, it is able to suck down the cuticle to the cortex, allowing for a nice sheer um, shiny surface of the hair fabric. So ideally that's what these are doing. So once again, if you happen to be on our webinar for skincare, you may have noticed that we used the hyalur minerals and the ceramides um, in some of the facial services. Um, due to that revolutionary um, science behind this, that concentration will really allow deep moisture and allow for the skin radiance and remineralization of not only the hair but the skin. So you're getting nice smooth um, a feel to the face or the hands or any of the skin, not just our hair, the hair fabric. Um, I like to even introduce this to my clients um, on their hands while they're processing perhaps for a color service prior to this rebuilding treatment and they're processing and you go ahead and allow um, a few drops of the hyaluron minerals or the ceramides to the hands, give them a nice relaxing hand massage and they will immediately see the difference from hand to hand. So if you show them one and show them the glow that their skin is now taking over and the actual, you can start to share this education, you're truly going to sound like a, a big professional in that manner and they're going to trust anything you say moving forward. So um, this is just an extra little tip and trick that you can also use with your hyaluron minerals and the ceramides. Moving on to the ceramides F, it contains repairing, protecting, and shining concentrates. It restores the hair's lipid components. Ceramides are lipids that fill the empty spaces in the external cuticle of the hair. 
It creates protective layer around the cuticle to protect against external chemical, mechanical, and climactic aggressions. It increases the structure, elasticity, and resistance of the hair. Now again, if we take a more cl closer look at the science behind this, because ceramides are soluble, they penetrate the lipid barrier and regenerate it. This increases water retention and the hair becomes more moisturized. The vitamin F forte helps maintain the lipid barrier that has been restored. The ceramides F consists of essential fatty acids derived from safflower oil which contains up to 70 to 80 percent of linoleic acid and linolenic acid, which is essential for the integrity of the lipid part of the hair. It also contains tocopherol, a lipid antioxidant that helps preserve the extracellular matrix of the hair. So ideally those are what it takes to perform the first portion of the blend for your rebuilding uh, method. So here on the slide in front of you, you see case A, B, C, and D, which we're going to break down a little bit more um, on these different case-by-case -case scenarios for your clientele. Um, and this is also downloadable from this webinar, so you can see this broken down and printed out and use this accordingly. So first is case A. This is the intensive treatment blend. Uh, we're working here with dry, damaged, dull hair. That's um, ideally we're going to be adding moisture and adding minerals back into the hair as well as the moisture. You can do this say three or four times each time. You're going to see more and more of a um, high-end result to the hair with the softness, improving the elasticity over time, depending, of course, on um, how damaged and dry those locks are that you're working with. Below, you'll see um, the ideal formulation uh, for mixing amounts. Let's say you have someone that comes in with short hair. You can weigh 30 milliliters of the rebuilding serum and then add two to three dropper applications of the hyaluronic minerals. So in this case, you're looking at somebody that has that elasticity issues. You may see that um, the hair is not stretching and returning. It's just lifeless and dull if you do a wet stretch test. Or if you use your trico analyzer, you might just see a dullness, not a shiny appearance um, inside that magnification. Moving on to case B, This, these are hair with um, ends that are damaged by multiple chemical treatments. Let's say someone's been over-processed over and over and those ends are starting to simply split. Um, the elasticity, once again, is not coming back when you're doing, let's say, a wet stretch test. Um, this is someone that's probably going to need more like five to six treatments using the rebuilding serum, the ceramides F, and the hyalur minerals. So now all three components are factored in and for short hair, we're once again going to recommend weighing 30 milliliters of the rebuilding serum. It's a nice velvety consistency with the serum. For those of you who haven't tried it, it's nice and thick. And then once you add the ceramides F, you're going to use one to two dropper fulls there and one to two of the hyalur minerals and mix that all together and then apply. This is going to help improve the elasticity of the hair. Very soft, manageable, not that rigid. Um, it'll seal that cuticle layer back down as the lipid protections built back into the core of the hair. And simply explaining this to your clients, what you're doing, I mean, they're going to see you as such a high-end professional. They're going to see immediate results and using more natural opportunities. And you're not just factoring in, once again, just protein or moisture loss. This is going to make the hair glossy and um, really, really beautiful. Moving on to case C, you've got um, more curly hair types that start to frizz, let's say. Um, they need more hydration or moisture. Um, maybe their curls are starting to become lifeless and not soft or um, buoyant, and you're not seeing the actual curl pattern anymore, just maybe frizz. You would want to work with the rebuilding serum and the hyaluronic minerals only, those two portions of the system. And you're going to be doing about four to five treatments on them. That's really going to get them back into an improved state of moisture and elasticity. Hair that's soft, you're going to start to see the curl pattern um, on those ends that are being split form again. So that's for case C. 
Case D is for fine, bodiless hair that has also become dull, no shine. It's going to add fullness to the hair. It's going to increase that strength by using the rebuilding serum and just the ceramides here. So 30 milliliters of the serum mixed with two to three dropper applicators of the ceramides F. Mix that together and apply. It will increase the body and really add fullness to that lifeless hair. So some tips um, for changing up these a little bit. Um, you know, not all clients fall into exactly these categories or different times of the year may require a little bit of an adjustment. Um, it is summertime, so after exposure to sun, sea, chlorine, salt, and sand, um, and the really hot temperatures, uh, you may want to use a little bit more of the high low minerals in your custom blend. Also, if you have a client who's looking to get a perm, a relaxer, or a color of bleaching service and their hair seems rather damaged, a short cycle, two to three rebuilding sessions once a week can help give some support to that hair before having those treatments done. In the case of very damaged hair, um, to, I would increase the amount of ceramides in the first session. And in the case of very dehydrated hair, I would increase the high low minerals in the first session. So if you think about it as, um, severely damaged, more ceramides. Really dry and dehydrated would be the high lows. So then we'd move on and we're going to have the intensive treatment. We're going to talk about the infrared iron. Based on the diagnosis determined in the step one, the intensive phase begins. So mixing the rebuilding serum with the high lows and or the ceramide concentrates. So for better microzonization, and penetration of the active ingredients, we do recommend that you use the infrared hair remedy iron during this phase. It will benefit the hair in closing of the scales, thickening the cuticle layer of the hair, repairs the hair tissue, prevents split ends, keeps more, the hair more elastic, and preserves color over time. Great, so let me jump back into some of the tips that Tracy shared with you too. Um, because if you're asking why after exposure to sun, see chlorine, uh, chlorine and salt and sand, um, you're adding more minerals. So the reason being that the hyaluronic acid that helps hair really capture and preserve the water, that's what's going to help that hair that's, you, you know those people that come into you and the sun and the salt and all that has made that hair really hard to the feel, to the touch. Well, the hyaluronic acid really helping to preserve water and capturing that water, it allows for a more moisture um, and for the hair to be replenished once again, allowing it to be soft again. So that's that part. Um, of course, now talking about this intensive treatment using an infrared hair remedy iron, we mentioned the trico analyzer as part of a new tool um, to your chest that you might want to use and show that you're a true professional that has unique tools that nobody else seems to have, um, that you take your career and your um, service to a higher end and higher level. Um, so showing the intensive treatment with using this infra infrared ultrasonic iron, um, basically it's an innovative ultrasonic and infrared radiation plate that's going to regenerate and really help to push these hair treatments in further as it seals the scales and thickens all of that like Tracy had mentioned to you. These infrared rays have been used for years in aesthetic medicine therapies that really regenerate the cell tissue and also can help repair aging effects. So in the hair care field, we're using this infrared therapy to treat the damaged tissue capillaries. This heat really conveys the color at best during the coloring process and treatment, so it's locking that in. But the heat is produced by the electromagnetic vibrations of this infrared ray. So um, it's a type of heating that comes from within, and as such, it's not harmful to the hair. And you won't feel it um, stressed like the hair is getting too hot because it doesn't really get hot that way. Um, the ultrasound is an outstanding conveyor that actually optimizes any treatment. So if you use it from one session to the next, the hair that's stressed will definitely improve in its cosmetic appearance and really remain healthy there. So um, it doesn't, that I want you to note really that the iron does not steam excessively as it's shown in the picture. This is just a graphic to show you that there is a um, hot infrared, iron, hot, excuse me, an infrared plate on one side and then a silver 
um, mirrored plate on the other. So Tracy's going to talk to you a little bit more about um, this treatment. So next, we're going to perform the treatment. So we're going to mix our rebuilding serum with the pure concentrates of ceramides F and or the high low minerals. And then we're going to apply it on dry hair with a brush, then massaging it upward and with an upward motion for better absorption. So when you start, when you go to apply it, I would start in the nape and work your way up the back of the head, doing section by section. Once you've applied it to all of the hair, again on dry hair, when you begin to use the iron, again we're going to go section by section, starting in the nape, you're going to clamp the iron over the section of hair and slowly pass it over the section to the ends of the hair. And depending on the condition of the hair, I would say three to five passes could be made. Just be sure that you're flipping the iron over so that both plates get equal time on each side of the hair strand. Um, process for five to ten minutes once you've gone through the entire head with the iron at room temperature, no heat. Um, and the rest of this is what Rebecca was just talking to you about as far as what the plates do with the ultrasonic uh, in the infrared. Once you've processed for five to ten minutes, you're going to go ahead and cleanse the hair by using the rebuilding hair bath. It's necessary to finish the application with this um, because of the fe it features the Produ 500, which is a cocktail of amino acids and sodium PCA with arginine. The amino acid mix rebuilds the protein chains where the CMC, which is the cell membrane complex, is made. The sodium PCA nourishes and conditions the hair, which equals improved color durability. And the arginine binds to acidic groups in the hair, allowing sodium PCA to penetrate into the hair. It also has the sugar cane oligosaccharides. They create bonds within the molecules of the hair, helping them retain that moisture that you just put in there, and resist to aggressive cleansing products. And this is important because we want to preserve what you just put in there and not have them going home and using some other kind of shampoo that's going to help or that's going to pull it out. So it's going to help um, resist aggressive cleansing products. Then we're going to use the special conditioning rebuilding hair mask. It's a plumping mask for damaged hair. It restores the protein to the hair by nourishing and repairing. It seals the cuticle and moisturizes the hair. It has the Amazonian blend that we talked about earlier, exclusive complex of Amazonian butters and oils, the Babasu oil and the Miro Miro butter provides intense shine, which improves with every treatment you do. It also has the Pro-G 500 and the sugarcane oligosaccharides that we had just talked about that are in the shampoo. You would apply that to the damp hair, give it five to 10 minutes and rinse that off. So step four, actually guiding your clients into the proper products for maintenance to the treatment at home. So obviously for the best results and the maximum durability, you're going to definitely want to recommend to your clients that they continue to use the hair bath and the mask each wash, each wash um, of the rebuilding series. Now a couple other take home products that we wanted to mention to you as well, ideally um, you would probably want any of those people that originally came to you with mechanical stress to use the thermal stress protectant spray sell them that to take home as well because that's going to make sure that we don't have another occurrence of this even though they're now on the proper regimen and of course they're coming to you for an organic way hair color that is the um, top lead non-ammoniated line um, so they can continue to now get their color done with you so I would definitely rebook that next appointment for not only their rebuilding series but for their color treatment and to be able to have a um, check-in with you because now you're almost like a hair doctor. You're treating them. You want to make sure that they come back to you and that you can make sure that the repair that you've been working so beautifully with um, and on their hair that it maintains its um, beautiful color and it also has shine and elasticity and so forth. So those are some additional products I would recommend and um, parts to your service. So we also wanted to include a mini rebuilding treatment um, that's going to give you amazing results as well. 
So obviously the other um, would be for more mechanical, deep stress, those dehydrated locks that are coming in, frizzy um, hair curl patterns and so forth. So, but this one is a mini treatment that you can do easily every salon visit. So we're progressively changing the quality of the hair, really appear, improving that appearance, smoothing the hair, and sealing the cuticle. I know so many of our clients are now getting keratin treatments um, over and over and over. And one thing is finding out um, sort of what they're looking for in the end result of a keratin treatment. Is it that they're just looking to reduce frizz and um, kind of smooth that cuticle and hair? Because if so, you may also want to do something like the the mini treatment for them so that it's actually helping the quality of the keratin being a vegetable protein base with the H Restore you see here in the slide and then using the infrared iron so um, once again the infrared iron is not something that every stylist has in their toolbox so this is something unique to you to ideally balance the porosity of the hair pushing those vegetable proteins so that the molecular weight is just going to store nicely and stay um, in the hair it's a nice option for summer, which we're here today, I believe, is the first day of summer. So when hair is subject to the greater oxidative stress, you, you're out by the pool, you're out enjoying the beautiful weather, then this may be a great option for someone that comes into the salon. Even if it's just a haircut appointment, you can add this mini rebuilding treatment to that service. Um, it can also be done before styling or after a color bleaching service. So you're done with your client's um, service for color and they're ready to be styled. You can spray the H Restore in, do about three to five passes, flipping the iron as Tracy mentioned to you, and then go ahead and apply now your styling products and style accordingly with your blow dryer or flat iron, etc. So this is just a 15 minute quick service. I'd say you could 20 to 25 extra dollars in your pocket. Um, for an add-on and it really doesn't take any time and it's it's a beautiful option here's how it should be done um, so at step one after coloring you're going to use the hair bath and mask um, and to rebuild balance and reacidify the hair um, or you can just go in and add the scalp bath and the conditioner and rinse that out so Next, you're going to towel dry the hair and apply a spritz through the hair from scalp to ends of the H Restore. It's got the phytoprotein um, supplement spray to each section of the hair. I like to go through and comb it through. And then apply the infrared um, hair iron to each section first, one side to the other. And like I mentioned, about three to five passes, depending on um, how much hair the client has. And then the application of the OA styling products and go ahead and complete your blowout and you can def define anything with the OA finishing products. So we get a lot of questions about how to price some of these services. And it's really very subjective to your demographic area and what your market will allow. But we still wanted to give or you know give you some kind of a tool so that you could help determine what's a fair amount for you, for your time, and for your uh, investment. So the first thing that I would suggest is to take the amount or the mills or the size of the product that you're using divided by the amount needed for a treatment. So in this instance, let's say it's a 500 milliliter bottle and it's gonna take us 30 mils for every treatment. That would give us roughly 16 and a half applications. So then we take the price of the product divided by the number of treatments that it can provide. And that's going to give us the cost per application. So in this instance, if the unit cost us $57.97, we divide it by 16.6, .6, and we get $349 as our cost per application. Next, I would say determine how long the service is going to take you to perform and multiply that times your going hourly rate. So for example, if your normal woman's haircut is $40 and it takes you an hour, and that is what you know, 75 to 80 percent of your business is, or was. Then that is your going hourly rate. Um, I would add the results of two and three together and round up to get your pricing. So, for example, your hourly rate is 40 plus the amount of product that you're using, 349 equals 43.49. Round up, you're at 45. 
Now it's also important to mention that for some of these things, like the high low minerals and the ceramides F, that those costs vary. It's based on the custom formula and the size of the batch that you need to provide the service. So it's a very difficult thing to break down. Um, they also don't measure when you try to put them, measure them out on a scale uh, very well because you're only doing maybe two or three eyedroppers full. So my suggestion would be, again, take that 349 that is the base cost of, say, the rebuilding serum, and then add, you know, if you're going to do one of the, um, let's say you're going to do the high low minerals, then add one or two dollars. If you're going to do both, then add up to five dollars to that. And then tack that on to, again, how long is it going to take you to do the service? So that's some great information because as you are adding this service to your um, offerings in your menus and so forth and talking about this, this is absolutely a rebuilding treatment that you will see re the best results immediately. And after the third visit, that client is complete. I mean, each time you do it, it's going to just get better and better. And if they're on the right maintenance at home, this is going to be a very obvious definitive um, structurizing, restructurizing treatment that your clients are going to absolutely see gloss shine and their hair color is going to last even longer than ever before. So it's a, it's a no-brainer. This one ha is something that I, as soon as I added it to my um, list of services, I had to actually set up a, an individual station and we are working it out now to have this this particular spot in our salon, depending on how large or small your space is, where you have the trico analyzer, you have the infrared iron all set up. And it's almost, they can come in, sit in that chair, have a consultation. It's almost like a doctor's office visit where you're really seeing what the client needs and you have all of the opportunities to give them solutions. Um, so you will be known as an expert and a professional um, superstar in your field if you can rebuild and restructure hair like this. Um, so you'll get a million referrals after doing it and so forth. But um, this is the best rebuilding, regenerating. You know, it's going to make hair softer, more flexible, and more resistant. We did have someone that had a, a very young client looking to get a keratin treatment. And um, I simply asked, what is the child looking to do? Because instead of offering an, a keratin treatment, why why are you even servicing, you know, what is the service about? And they said, well, she's complaining of frizz and so forth. Well, she hadn't had any chemical stress to her hair. She, she had virgin hair. So it had to be from external elements, really, maybe from swimming, being out in the sun, being a kid, pulling your hair up in a ponytail, and all the split ends and the frizz, it was getting embarrassing for her at school, um, and she had to really work to flat iron her hair, so the, the flat iron could have been too hot as well. So I mentioned trying this service and just seeing before you went the keratin route um, if this is a way that we could rebuild and regenerate that child's hair. And sure enough, it is just stunning and soft and beautiful and shiny, just like her hair should have been. Um, so just keeping that in mind, this is something that you're going to find will really add to your professional um, career. So. Thank you for your time today. We're here for any questions that you may have about the system or any of the OA products, um, and we're certainly always happy to help answer any of those questions. So please don't forget to reach out to us. We, here to our, we are here to help you change your salon for the better every day. So our number here in the office, should you need any additional support, is 888-213-4744. We do have some amazing rebuilding treatment packages that include the iron with some discounted rates. So if that's something you're interested in doing, by all means, please give our account managers a call at that same number, 888-213-4744. Thank you on behalf of Tracy Olson and Rebecca Gregory. We're really glad you joined us today. and We look forward to having you on many more webinars in the future. Thanks again.